Alliteration is repeating the same or similar sounds at the beginning of words. Hey, similar sounds, that's an example. Alliteration is often used in poetry and music because it helps the phrase flow nicely. Phrase flow, there's another one. And we also have a number of common expressions that use it. Today, you'll learn 20 of them, and you can download this lesson by clicking on the link in the video description. Our first one is bated breath. If you're waiting for something with bated breath, it means you're very anxious or excited, very eager to get or find out what you are waiting for. For example, we all waited with bated breath to find out who had won first place in the competition. Cookie cutter. Describing something with the adjective cookie cutter means it is exactly the same as others of the same type. There's nothing different about it. For example, I'm not a fan of that neighborhood. It's street after street of cookie cutter houses. There's no diversity. Daredevil. A person who is a daredevil takes dangerous risks because they enjoy the adrenaline. So people who do those stunts on motorcycles are definitely daredevils. A father figure is a man who is not your biological father, but someone who you respect and admire and who has influenced and guided your life. For example, my parents are divorced and I've never had much contact with my dad, but my uncle has been a father figure in my life. A gas guzzler is a car that requires a lot of gasoline and it uses up gasoline quickly. For example, his new truck is a real gas guzzler. Two related ones are half-hearted and wholehearted. If you make a half-hearted attempt to do something, it means you don't give it 100% of your effort. And the word wholehearted means you are 100% committed, enthusiastic, and devoted. She made a half-hearted attempt to write a book, but she gave up after finishing a few chapters. This political candidate has my wholehearted support. Add insult to injury. This means to make a bad situation even worse or more humiliating. For example, I was running late for a date and then to add insult to injury, a car drove by and splattered me with mud. Jump for joy. To jump for joy means to show great happiness and excitement. My kids jumped for joy when I told them we were going to Disney World. A labor of love means some work that you are not being paid for or you're being paid very badly, but you do it because you love it or you are doing it for someone you love. For example, the old woman spends hours making clothing to donate to poor children. It's a real labor of love. Mind over matter. This means that your thoughts are stronger than the physical reality. In the gym, you might hear your personal trainer saying, come on, you can do 10 more push-ups. Mind over matter. Neck and neck. If two competitors are neck and neck, it means they are so close that it is hard to tell who's winning. For example, the two leading presidential candidates are neck and neck. The election will be decided by just a few votes. Cost a pretty penny. If something costs a pretty penny, it means it costs a lot of money. They took a three week vacation in a luxury hotel. That must have cost a pretty penny. Rave reviews. If a film, performance, album, or product gets rave reviews, it means people are evaluating it and saying excellent things about it. The author's new novel is getting rave reviews. Many say it's the best book of her career. A sorry sight. This is something that is sad, pitiful, or unpleasant to look at. The old abandoned cathedral is now covered in graffiti. It's a sorry sight. Stand the test of time. If something stands the test of time, it means it continues to work well for a long time. They've been married for 50 years. Their relationship has stood the test of time. Vice versa. The expression vice versa means the reverse of the previous statement is true too. For example, I respect him and vice versa. That means he respects me too. Work wonders. If something works wonders, it means it is surprisingly and amazingly beneficial. This laundry detergent works wonders for getting stains out of clothing. A word to the wise. We use this expression before giving an important piece of advice. A word to the wise. Don't spend everything you earn. You should save up some money for emergencies. 
I hope you've enjoyed today's expressions with alliteration. They're also fun to say. Go ahead and download the free lesson guide so you can review and remember them. I've got a great course to help you learn idioms and informal expressions. It's called 300 Idioms in 30 Days. Not only will you learn common idioms, you'll also get to practice them and send in your homework for correction from our teaching team. You can join the 300 Idioms course at my website, EspressoEnglish.net.